And we're live. Hi, everyone. I am Nick. And I'm Rhea. And this is Full of Brick. Yeah. Oh, and the Brick Toad has just popped in and said that, Hi, Nick. I changed my name to the Brick Toad M. What was it before? I thought it was the Brick Toad. The Brick Toad. I don't remember what it was before. The brick Toad. Hi. Hello, Brick okay, Toad. Okay, so we're a little late today just because we were a little busy this morning. Mason um, had a birthday party. Yeah, he had a birthday party. A friend of his turned eight years old. He was so excited when he came home. He said, look, Dad, I, I baked the cake. He did. So they went to a cooking Mason birthday cake, party. Oh, okay. So it was Mason and two other boys invited, but basically it was all girls, and it's a little girl's birthday party, and they, they went to a cooking class. And I think they cooked their pizzas, and they ate that, and then they also decorated some cakes. So Nick's on his way to get the cake. Not so pretty compared to like the little girl's cakes. However, um, hello, big brick machine. Um, I was telling them that the boys and girls decorated their cakes, but the boys' cakes comparison to the it's girls. Egg. He, he made this whole cake himself. Uh, no, so the sponge cake is already done. They just decorate it. Uh, but they also made pizza before, cooked that, and ate that. Yeah, he said he, oops, he ate, so his he ate all pizza. his pizza. But then you should see the girls decorating their That's cake. Nice. So pretty. Does it look like this? It's not just like a clump of icing. How, is, like, how are the other boys compared to? Uh, the same. So there's only three boys, and like all the rest were girls, and you can tell which ones were the boys and which ones were the girls. <laughs> the girls probably like YouTube how to icing cakes before they even went. Yeah. To this thing, but I also went and got like a bunch of brochures because there's learn how to cook classes for the boys. Okay. Ages six to twelve, we just have to be mindful about looking for gluten free. He seemed excited. Mason? Came home. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he had fun. Well, he, he the other boy invited was his best friend Sunny, so they had yeah. fun. And I what thought about the other boy. The other boy was in grade one, but he knew oh. him too. But he's um, in grade one. No, because we're grade two. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, at the end of it, they also had like what's the thing with the stick, and you go under the stick with music. Oh. Um. So they had some dancing involved in the end because uh, I feel like when not the oh they also had the Congo line. Uh, uh, that, uh, anyways, What's I feel like when we have little boys' birthday parties, we always have to find venues where they run, they laser tag each other, or they bounce off trampolines, or they climb on walls. Like, not this baking, schmaking. <laughs> so, I mean, the fact that there's only two, three little boys, it was manageable. But even the three little boys, you could really tell yeah. that they're like, uh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, uh, what are we going to do? <laughs> and they're feeding us. Yeah, it was nice. So, but I actually, well, the grocery store. it was at Loblaws grocery store. So while the party started, I actually, I actually had Hayden with me. So we went to do some groceries first. Okay. Use some of your PC points. And then I also went to Indigo. Oh, Chapters. Chapters, which is the bookstore right next door. And so what did you get? I didn't get anything, but I already took my photo for February picks. Oh. I'm so excited. I just finished reading this amazing book called The Court. Of thro Thrones and Roses. My gosh, I can't even get... That sounds like the, Game of Thrones. It does, but it's so good, and I love it. And it's it's, it's like um, categorized under young adults, but there's oh. a lot of not young adult content in it that I'm like, hmm, would I be reading this when I was younger? Probably. I probably would, because I read Stephen King when I was little, and V.C. Andrews, too, when I was little, and those did not have young adult content. content. But, yeah, so I already got my five, six books for February then. I probably will change my mind again. But it's always nice to walk around and I had Hayden and he was strapped in his stroller so I had my coffee, he had his so banana bread. So walking around for two hours? Or no, maybe? and then we came back because uh, got, to watch. Sunny's mom was there too and she's like, they're gonna give us pizza too. So Hayden actually went back to the birthday party. He had his slice of pizza, he had a slice of cake. And was then he, he good also, just sitting there? No, well he was good when he was eating, like okay. for the pizza, but then when the dancing started, he also wanted dancing. to. Yes. He also wanted to break dance because the boys were, like I said. Break dancing. What, break about, what about the girls? Were the girls doing that? <laughs> the girls were polite. So yeah. Port City Bricks is there, and um, I'm not sure if it was Andrea or Jeremy, but one of them sent me a message asking if we would <gasps> like. Should you say this in public? A lower third? <gasps> not for here, but for um, our anniversary. But only for your anniversary night, right? And then it disappears. I don't know. I, I read it one of you called too. But we don't know how to do those. Um, we don't. You would think I would, but I don't. What is it? Um, Photoshop. We don't have Photoshop. Right. Um. So. What happened this week? Oh, I was sick. Yeah, you were sick. You, you look a lot better today. I do. Thank you. You were you were coughing a lot and sneezing a lot. And runny nose a lot and congested and even when I was taking Advil, cold and sinus. My sinus is right behind here. Hurt. 
the backs of my eyes hurt. And so I was off work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was my day off. And to take another day off on Thursday, I needed a family doctor's note, but my family doctor was still on I vacation. Oh. Yes. Andrea <gasps> Thank you, you Andrea. You're so the bestest. Nice. We're going to bring you ketchup chips. A lot of those. What other flavors? Is it going like? to say brick adjuster and friend? No. <laughs> You're more... She's more than just a friend. I don't know. Did the Briggs Zapper say she's even going to be part of your live stream on your anniversary? I don't think you got like a RSVP yet. Hey. Hi, the Lego Wild and Lego Mat 809. I don't know Lego Mat 809. Is 809 like your area code? Maybe. Maybe. So yeah, I was sick part of this week. And then when I went back to work on Thursday after not really, you know, getting into the swing of things, I was exhausted at that. So I haven't really worked out heavily. Um... When I went back to work out, even my app, because I had one of these, I have that FitBod new app from, I downloaded earlier this year with a friend of mine. Um, hey, no to, to do weights. It was reminding me that you have not worked out in six days. I'm like, uh, you have not worked it out in you seven. That? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. It's my phone. So, um, oh. Tristan's basketball. Here's the latest update. Um, Monday, basketball tryouts resumed. And he actually said that he uh, he did well. He was actually excited to tell me how basketball tryouts went. His eyes were all wide. And he said, I didn't miss any shots. And um, he took two shots and he didn't miss any. So he was all excited. He said he even stole the ball off someone. And so I was encouraged because the, the two days before that, he was just like, yeah, it didn't really go so well uh, the week before. So that was Monday. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, they had – they had the week off, or they had the, those days off, so no tryouts. And then tryouts resumed on Thursday. So I asked him how to go, and he's like, "Eh, not so well again." He said, "But the but I stole the ball off someone, but then the ball hit me in the face, and so it didn't go so well on the Thursday." So I said, "Okay, there's still one more day. Friday will be the last day of tryouts." And so I asked them how 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 to go, and he says, "I didn't make the team." So, so the question really is, are you disappointed? No, I'm fine. You know, actually, I was watching this. Because <laughs> he, he looks at me and goes, I never not ever made a team that I tried out for. And I've like, never gotten cut from a team. But. but, you know, I think the difference now are the kids are really heavily into leagues. Yeah, They're they, born and the parents all the, now. All the, player, all the players they play. out were, were really good. They play out, right? And our kid just like. He just started learning in October. He just plays ball with his dad. <laughs> and it's just his dad. I didn't, I was <laughs> and watching, even if he was like great athlete when we were young, I mean. You I didn't know. tell you about this um, this documentary, but I was watching it on um, Netflix. Mm -hmm. And it's called Trophy Kids. We don't have one of those, do we? So it, it documents, I think, um, four families. Mm -hmm. Um, so th there's a dad and a football son who's like 17. There's a couple dads and a couple basketball sons who are like 15 or 14, yeah. 15. There's um, there's a there's a mom and two twin, I think 14 year old tennis players. And there's a there's a dad and this like nine year old golf girl. And, and what are their aims? They just want to be rich off their kids. Is that the whole it's like just, this, uh, the whole the whole the whole point of the documentary? It shows how the parents lose sight of kind of fun and fun and are just berating their kids and swearing and you should see like the the golfer, golfer wait so dad. wait that's not us no, I don't oh. see that <laughs> but i was just watching it and i'm like oh geez at least i don't do that and then tristan's like yeah you do that but no uh what's going on what are you looking at what are you looking at in the comments? I don't know. Uh, Poor City Bruce said, Andrea is going to make an anniversary lower third one, an adjuster zapper one, a brick adjuster, and a brick zapper. Whoa, oh. so I can get like my own show? <laughs> I don't know what I would do. Like, talk to my. The brick zapper show. <laughs> the brick zapper zaps. No, that's ready every day, too. And that's yes, I know. Poor City Bruce said. My anniversary is next weekend. And so there's going to be a, a long live stream. I've got a bunch of people lined up. For the um, like Harold. For the wait, did Harold see it? Her Harold might jump in after, oh. hopefully. <laughs> From work. <laughs> but um, I got some people. I'll, send, I'll be sending. An, I'll be making like an Instagram blast. Um, but uh, stay tuned because it's gonna. Yes, be person says one. congrats. No more bricks and no more bricks. Says, what congrats to me with that I win your first yeah. video in six months. Oh, yes. lol. You didn't see that, did you? No, no, no. no yes. It's cool. It's um. I don't know what view it is, but he somehow has a minifigure view of his so i don't know if you put a camera on a car or something but he has like his a, pet hamster who like 
runs all there's over the, the place. There's the pet hamster with the camera <laughs> and it goes through the city. And then you can see like the Wayne Tower and then you can see his um cool. his his Star Wars base. How did you check it out? Um what else happened? Oh, on Tuesday the well we we got these more the Lego Lego Dimension um Fun packs, yeah. And that so was last weekend, right? Mason wanted to try it out on Lego Dimensions. However, and so we tried it. I didn't do that yet. And it didn't work. And then so we we took the disc out. And again, for the second time, it has this same concentric scratch, like scratch a circular scratch. We gotta show everybody. And I gotta take a photo. So I actually ended up calling Lego.com because when it was first successful at getting it exchanged at Walmart, where we first bought it on day one of Lego Dimensions release. Um, and I didn't have the original receipt when I tried to call American Express, which was the credit card I used to pay it for. They said that they couldn't give me a statement and I have to go to Walmart. Anyways, after the brouhaha, Walmart didn't want to call American Express. They just ended up opening up a fresh box really for me and handing me over the game. And this was frustrating, right? Because when you buy Lego Dimensions, you're buying the entire huge package with the portal and all the three minute figures originally. You can't just buy the disc. And when the disc is broken, you're like, okay, I don't want to like you know start from scratch again i just need the disc so walmart for that first return ended up giving me a, a fresh disc right so second time around it happens and it's weird because we have a number of other playing discs i don't know if you can see it right there at the very edge there's this so the first time the scratch was actually closer to the center it was it was right in the middle but this time it's towards the towards the outer side so at first we were thinking is it our and it goes Xbox? all the way around is it our actual device but when we look at our other discs that we've had for years it doesn't like happen. doesn't happen to any of them so is lego dimension there or might, I don't know, because do we play with it so much i think i read that it would be the it would be the console if it yes. shakes or something maybe or if it's not improperly so okay so kind of i called there. lego because walmart said this is the only time we're going to do this replacement for you and they were nice about it so i didn't want to try my luck again about my lie yeah or not lie right so i called lego.com and they're like yeah we'd be happy to replace it for you however the person that you actually have to get in contact with is xbox but when i told them none of our other um discs have any issues they're like oh well actually um link you over to warner brothers warner brothers warner brothers yeah, who warner makes brothers. the game so straight link to them and they're like okay fill in this email which i haven't done yet i need to take a photo of that I gotta take a photo of that right now right now right now right now harold would say right now right now and i have to send it to them and they're gonna send me another disc i'll put my hand here so it looks like a real person is holding it oh and they'll, they'll even see a zoom, reflection zoom, zoom it out so you can see they'll that. see a reflection just your reflection they'll see your reflection too they won't see my reflection they will because look at the hands. angle okay like that fine Oops, no, why am I? You're, you're doing video. I'm vlogging. There we go. I want to see a closer one too so they can see the scratch right there. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Right, meow. No more brick says. Okay. So they said that they're going to send us another disc and that they want their customers to be happy. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But they did say, like, the girl's like, oh, yeah, this isn't the first time I heard of it. Meanwhile, Lego was like, I've never heard of this before, this issue. So it's because people don't call Lego for video game stuff. Oh, I did. It was just our thought because maybe, because they give away, not give away, but they replace missing pieces. So, we're so thinking, girl said it could be the console. Like, sometimes, like, when you're playing, it might be at, like, a weird angle. Yeah. And then it scratches. So stop playing with these games. But the thing that we know is, like, you invest so much in Lego Dimensions by buying these cute little minifigures. Yeah. That you need this game to play or they they really need to have a uh, an outside game right like oh your game is busted by this game again i don't know what do you think what do you think what do you think no, people no 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 because no, it's going to be our third disc and i feel like i am just polluting the world with this yeah i know they'll be like it's this woman again she's calling about lego dimensions and then again then another thing that we tried calling was for our rogers box oh in the table so my dad gave us this rogers box for the rogers in canada is our cable company not sure what cable companies in the u.s at t is that I verizon know. i don't know i don't know what the u.s is but rogers cable is what we have here and so my dad gave us this cable box and it was working for a while so we were getting tv down here cable but, but then all the, we we're getting uh cable down no, here it's so, so it's been a couple of months and I didn't call it because I'm the only person for some reason who calls in this household for stuff like that. Someone just reminds me, so did you call Rogers yet? I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. 
Why didn't you call yet? Comcast. Time Warner. Yes, that sounds familiar. I'm so anyways, they said that the box is kind of old and that, you know, they're just trying to loop us into this rent a box for $6 versus, oh, you own your box? Well, it doesn't work. Ha ha. So we ended up just buying a Blu-ray disc box. Yeah, so I went to Walmart and it makes our TV smart. Yeah, I, w I went to Walmart. I was able to pick up a Blu-ray DVD player because, as as well as with our Rogers box, the DVD player wasn't working either anymore. Yeah, because I guess it's been eleven years old. It's, yeah, since we got the house. Um, but the cool thing is that the the Blu-ray DVD player also streams Netflix and YouTube and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So who needs cable down here, right? So it makes it smart. It makes it like a smart TV. So that's cool. Yeah. And we have unlimited internet anyway. So Tristan and I were watching Happy Gilmore today. So do we still well. need Gable, like upstairs? Yeah. The games. I got to watch games. I can't even watch <laughs> when, games. When do you watch here. games? When Basketball do you have time to watch games? And baseball games with the Blue Jays. Do you really summer. need the games? Yes. Can you like like watch it elsewhere, like for free? No. Hmm. You can pay um, a monthly fee to get unlimited baseball games and unlimited basketball games. But that's more. It. I'm trying to figure yeah, out how to get. Well, you're, you're saying. Um, oh, what am I? I don't. Have you ever heard of an escape room? Yes. Any Andrew. So many people from work. Did, I don't know if you do it. One of my patients. Has it. One of my patients was telling me about. So it. an escape room is a game. See, when I first heard, group, when I first, when I first, first heard her say escape room, I thought it was like one of those spa retreats, like an escape to like a comfort room or something. No, and you're right away, you're going to be like not. handcuffed it's or like a, It's like the saw. It just scares the hell out of me. It's like the movie The Saw. When I was say the world. What? It's like the the place where you go if you're bad. Anyways. The, the dungeon? The H word. Oh. H-E double hockey sticks? Yes. We have MLB TV package and watch it on our PSTV. That's what oh, I'm talking yeah. about that. Sorry, so you can watch any single baseball game. But I probably only watch the Blue Just Jays. baseball, yeah. But that's something. but that's more. But like if I get yeah. that and then I cancel our cable. Hey, brick. No, because there's like other shows like Survivor. <laughs> like the Biggest Loser and, Big and American oh, Idol. What am I gonna talk to my mom with? I know you're Brother right. That's the only conversation she's had. She loves. I didn't say she all loves reality TV. She say we love. So, just just just. So I'm to forced commit. to watch it. You're not forced to watch it, whatever. And Mason also, also wants to watch it too. So we. Uh, to okay, so the escape room. Yes, yeah, so the escape room is like a game. Yeah. Where you're put in this room, you're locked into it. You could be in a pair or like a group, and there's all these different clues in this room, and it could be like a three by three kind of room. It's tiny. It has all the clues in there, but you have to like code, decode all this. I I feel these like I would be so claustrophobic. I'd be like, get me out of this room. Scratch, 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 scratch. Like, and you can ask to go to the washroom. And I think if you don't solve it within an hour, they just they let you yeah. they let you go. But I think I'd be like. <gasps> There's different ones I heard because my patient said the first one she went to had a 60% success rate, so it was fun. But the one she most recently went to had a 20% success rate, and it was not fun. And it wasn't fun. <laughs> it was yeah. something like so. The first one was like yeah. There's one in Castle Loma. They made one over the holidays. Castle Loma is one of our castles here in Toronto. Yeah. So they would have usually like uh, a lot of like a lot of weddings happen there and. Different events, but yeah, they had their own. So this room. is how this one worked. Okay. Um, for the, so they were in first one room, and it was a it was like a lab, like a science okay. lab. And so, and like what they what they had to eventually end up doing was uh, figuring out because there were all these books everywhere. Figuring out they had to group the books, like chemistry books, physics books. How do you books, figure this out? And See? then put them so have them all there, and then count. There were like five physics books. Three chemistry books, and, and then what? And they get those numbers, and then those are the um, the numbers for the um, the combination to unlock one of the doors to get a key to unlock the key to go through the door to enter another room. I know. And then See? the second room. I'm already crying. I'm already like wailing. <laughs> the second room, there's a big periodic table. Oh my god! And they had to figure out some something about the elements, um, and the elements. It tra it traced something. So I getting like the elements. Say, do you want to do this? My answer no. It had to trace something. So it seemed really hard. They actually had to get um clues because they were they well. Were the one that Andrew and did had decks of cards, and they had to figure out from the decks of cards a okay. code. Okay. Right. See, that's that's tough. Um, but yes, a lot of people seem to like it. I think even Christine did it. Christine and um, Aaron. Uh, what else? Uh, you. Oh. You and Mason have been uh, watching Full House. 
Yeah. So <sighs> who wasn't raised on Full House? Uh, so on Netflix, we uh, I noticed that there's gonna be a Full House um, reunion sequel. Now is it like a whole uh, show, it's like a like whole series? Six episodes or, or something oh, okay. like that. And it's Minus called, the Olsen twins because they're billionaires. Yeah. They don't need to make it's called money. Fuller Fuller House. Yes. And it starts on February twenty sixth, mm -hmm. which coincidentally happens to be someone's birthday. Turning the big one one eight. Yeah. Two one. The big two one. Two one. So um so uh I introduced Full House to Mason, so the first episode. And the the cool thing is the ages of all the kids are the same as our kids right now. Well in second year, because it in second season, DJ is eleven, Stephanie is six, yeah. and Michelle is like turning two, like one yeah. in a bit, which is exactly the same age as Tristan. Did, did we do this on purpose? Am I gonna die? No, you're not. Do you? I don't have an uncle Jesse. <laughs> do you have and uncle? Joey. I don't have a brother for you, and you don't have a comedian. But I guess Connie can. You Con can yeah. rekindle over with Connie. You're that comedian. <laughs> but um, so Mason and I finished the first season, and um. It's, it's fun because we'll watch the episode and we'll sing the intro. They sing songs the intro. Together. I just walk into the bedroom and Mason's in my bed and so, da, 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 whatever happened to and what's yeah. predictable. My son knows the word predictability. <laughs> the, <laughs> so they that's and something then, that's nice that you can do it. And even the ending. <laughs> and, then, and, and, and then once um, Tristan started watching it with you guys too. Yeah, he likes it. And he's like. How do you guys know the word to it? <laughs> like, why, how do you guys know that? But he started watching because he saw us like bonding, watching. So he started watching too and he's like, giggling. Wow, you're bonding with all of my yeah. sons. Well, like today that. Tristan and I were watching Happy Gilmore. Oh, and, you, did you finish it? Yeah, we were watching it here on Netflix. Oh, okay. What were you guys doing while you were watching it? Um, I was editing and he started building but then just got sucked into the movie and just Oh my gosh, we just totally neglected Tristan watching. this entire weekend. We let him watch we let him play Assassin's Creed the whole weekend. Fort City Bricks. Now Andrea is singing the theme song too. <laughs> la 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 la. I need um, someone to like harmonize with me. Wednesday you had a day off and I, I noticed on the vlog you guys went for dim sum. Do you guys like dim sum? We love dim sum. So it was my day off and I was still sick, but I had an appointment to do an oil change for our van and like the bumper Remember? Yeah, it was the, uh, the side bumper bling, I don't know what happened. I think from the bottom I scraped some ice snow and it went bling. Anyways, I needed those two repairs and then they did some tire rotation But when those when that event kind of happens my mom picks us up from the Car dealership. It's usually me and Hayden because the other boys are in school, and she's like, "Are you hungry?" And I'm like, "No, not really." And then somehow we find ourselves in front of dim sum. And so dim, dim, sum. dim sum is a Chinese restaurant where they. Well, no, dim sum is a Chinese breakfast. Different restaurants. Oh, okay. It's a it's a type of breakfast in a in a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Where they cart around these carts. And with all these different yummies. Different little, and you say, I want that, I want that. But in I the case that. of weekdays, they just give you a list and you just choose your favorite. Yeah. So I usually go for the shrimp and egg roll. Do you guys like dim sum roll. in the, do you guys like dim sum in the comments? Does anyone know what dim sum is? Uh, or, no is more bricks probably is it all Is that a Canadian thing? No more bricks was recruiting another, um, I'm not sure if he's Filipino or not, but oh. um, to, um, to the live stream yesterday. Oh. To the live stream, was it yesterday or two days ago? No, no, to the Asian Pacific live stream yesterday morning. Um, and his name was Cool Kid. Oh. And I always thought Cool Kid Bricks was a kid, it was a K pop, but it was actually a man. He's like 30. But he's Asian. But is he from but, Asia or like well, an Asian guy in North America? He met, he met No More Bricks at the Lego store. Oh, so I guess in the where was he Washington? Yes. So in the Washington Lego store, and No More Bricks was like probably, come on up. Rolling for other uh, Lego fans out there. <laughs> were you? Uh, oh, no More Bricks is saying um num 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 num. Yeah, no, we had them so on Wednesday, and then we got the car. What else? I think that's all. What else did you do on Wednesday? What did you guys do yesterday? You guys had I a whole day. Work. All day yesterday. <gasps> Your day was secret. I was expecting you to be home already. I, mean, I know. You guys I know. were out for so long. Well, we didn't mean to be out. We had, we had a late start of our day. It was just me, Mason, and Hayden because Tristan now was too cool to go out with me, or he's like, I'm playing games. You can know, leave I me got, alone. I got home from work and he was just chilling on the couch. I know. And I mean, he already finished writing his test, and I just 
I just can't get this kid of mine to read. And you know, reading isn't it all, right? Like you're not a big reader yourself. But uh, yeah, so I left him home and then I was going to go to the gym yesterday morning, but it's like crazy tourist season at the gym. So the parking lot is packed. I just picked my mom up for um, a quick lunch because she had her class, her Zumba class in the morning. And then I went to the gym back. But yesterday morning, oh, what I was looking for were gloves for Mason. That's what yeah. got me sort of like. I went to today to try to find gloves. and. Like, so we're looking gloves. for snow waterproof gloves. We have. Just not the felt gloves. We have felt gloves for Mason. That's thick enough and it's warm, but he always plays in the snow and then it's always soaked at the end of the day. I guess he didn't listen to his voice during the video. No more breaks. Okay, go. Got soaked. Got soaked. So um, yeah, so that's what that's where we went yesterday. We went to the mall first. I was looking for gloves, and then oh, we you guys went, went to Paramount. And oh yeah, then when I picked up a mom from the gym, we went uh, and had uh, lunch at Paramount, which is this Middle Eastern cuisine with their kebabs, the delicious. No more bricks is saying no, 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 no. no. <laughs> and then, and then I went to the gym in the afternoon uh, when the people, the the tourists are gone. After and, uh, after, after the big lunch. Yeah, after the, the big gym. lunch, and then I went straight to church, and then I went home. But it was a full day affair. You're right. Yeah. Oh, today, uh, this morning, I took Tristan back to the nomads. Uh, did you see him? It's my running group. They did. They, oh, what so time did they start running again? Seven uh, forty-five. Uh, so but didn't we, you guys leave at seven forty-five? No, we left at seven thirty-five. Oh. So we got there. Bob's Bob. And uh, we we bumped into Corky. Yeah. yeah. And I ran with John. Oh, cool. How's Corky doing? Corky's good. Um, so John was running with me. Oh, John. They went further though. We only went nine k. Me and Tristan. So was Tristan as fast enough as them, or did they slow down their pacing for him? He was trying to go fast oh, at the beginning, maybe. and then <laughs> yeah. once we veered off, and it was just me and him, he slowed down to a snail's pace. And I was basically, I, I was it. running backwards. <laughs> And I'm like, come on. It's like me. When I run around the nomads, I'm like, I'm going to be like as fast as them. And I try so hard and I just die. Yeah. So the nomads is my running club. Um, I might not be able to go next Sunday because of the marathon. Um, what, what, what? Oh, Tristan is so happy. I'll be going like, oh, we'll, we'll probably go to the gym. Maybe at 10 oh. or something. But I won't be able to get up at well, 7. Well, I know. I have, I have to take Mason. So Mason has swimming classes every Sunday now at 10. Yeah. A.M. But it kind of gets in the way of my working out. Because you only can work out for twenty minutes, and then yeah, so it's only half an hour. The daycare opens. The daycare opens at nine, right? Yeah. So if I get there for nine, and then we like put all of his swim things away, oh, come on. I go and get changed. I go in the treadmill for thirty minutes, maybe tops, and then I like have to pick him up back, get him ready, wait for his teacher, and then run either to do workout or get changed. I don't know. But by then, time's ticking, right? Unless we do swimming first. So get there at 10 and then put Hayden in. Because Hayden's the one that's like sort of like the limiting time, right? I can actually have these kids, the older two, in the gym for three hours. But then they get hungry. See, mm -hmm. all those things get in the way. But if we start at 10, so swimming right away, you take Hayden. Then I still have kind of time after Mason's all done to finish my work. I don't know. Maybe Sundays are around. I actually feel like all my shoulders are a little tight. Maybe I'm still sick. Um, last night I was on um, Kelly's live stream, the mm -hmm. Saturday live Saturday live stream. It was on Kelly and Kelly's channel. Kelly and Bubba were there, so if you want to check that live stream out, it was uh, it was fun. I only stayed till twelve just because I was getting a little drowsy. And plus, who else was there? Um, so it was Kelly, Kelly and Bubba. Yeah. Um, so at the beginning was Kelly and Bubba. The bearded brick was there. That was a, oh, his cool. first time. He's on Instagram. Yeah, He's the yeah, guy yeah. With, with the city and he makes yeah. lights. Yeah. I think his name is Vince. Um, so he was there. And um, Haley and Brick Brickanic was mm -hmm. there. But then but then they had to leave. They were only there for maybe an hour or okay. so. Okay. Um, and then Lady Stacker and Matt oh, Stacker cool. came on. So they were there. They were even there still after I left. Okay. And then um, Bricksmith. Is there anyone else? I can't remember anyone else. But something that was interesting was I didn't know uh, Matt Stacker is no longer with uh, Brickfest Live. He's no longer with uh, Clutch and Chad. So I, I knew that Classy Dan oh. was no longer with them, but, but also oh. uh, Matt Stacker. However, Matt Stacker did say that he's still he's going to go to Philly Brickfest, oh. but he's going to be as a participant, not as a worker. Organizer. Yeah. So he's gonna. He said he's just gonna have fun and enjoy. Yeah. yeah so we'll yeah. probably even see. 
Matt Stacker to the extreme because now he doesn't have to be serious, serious. Not that he was serious, serious so far, but it's going to be fun, fun times. Uh, both of them, Lady Stacker and Matt Stacker, they're going to bring mocks oh, cool. to the um, to the convention. That's and cool. Matt Stacker's big thing is uh, ne Nexo Nights. He really likes the Nexo Nights. Yeah, I saw that in his Instagram. Um, and I think um, No More Bricks likes the Nexo Nights too. So, I still have my spider bite. Mm. It's gross. I've had it since January 1st, and what is today, the 17th? Let's just go up you're, close. You're I don't know if I should. Anyone? Yeah, look at that. It's not that bad, big. It looks like a rash here. But I got it at the movie theaters when I watched a good dinosaur, and then I, at the end of the movie, I put my coat on, and I saw something snap. So does anyone know who this is? No, I had to ask you so many times who that was. Let's see in the comment. Does anyone know who this is? Who is? <gasps> Did you see that Bricks for Chris sold his Bricklink account? Yes. Why? Because he's moving and he got a new job. Yeah, so? So he can't do Bricklink, have a Bricklink store and Why? have a new job. So Why? he sold it to one of his buddies. I don't get it. Why? Because he just got a new job. Yeah. And he's moving. So, so he's not going to have time to do a whole Bricklink store. He was saying in his video that uh, his Bricklink store is like the second biggest in the U.S. now. It's just gotten huge. So... But clearly, it's not making as much money as his new job. Well, his new, like it's a job job, right? Mm. Who said that? Uh, Big Rick Machine. Yes, it is Mass Canada. So you did draw it well. So this is on the Brick Zappers YouTube channel if you want to see her speed draw. That's I know, I actually did two. You know, I think. You did two. Well, you did I two. did hand solo. Oh, was that Senior new? hand solo. I thought that was old. That was when I was six. And well, to you now. does anyone know who this is? I already said the answer. Well, maybe they didn't hear. They heard. Let's see who the first person in the comments says it. There's no prizes. I don't see anything. <laughs> is it Luke Skywalker? No. Is okay. it C3PO? No. Rick Zomiak says that uh, he likes, he loves Thank all you. of you. Han Solo! No more Thank bricks. you, Harold, for no putting more bricks is, Jake out of his misery. He's the fastest um, finger, <laughs> finger <laughs> typer. That's <laughs> right. Um, I made a mock. So this mock is, I'm going to, my uh, my lug, Toro lug, is going to be displaying. Meeting tonight, so he's deserting his family. They're yeah. meeting tonight. Well, we're meeting, I got to leave. Um, soon. Soon, but. That's why we have the timer. Um, so on the 30th, the Saturday and Sunday, so I guess that's the 30th and 31st, mm -hmm. our lug is going to be at the Star Wars um, Convention? event. Okay. Event, Star Wars event. On the 30th? It's a Saturday and Sunday, Saturday. whatever that weekend. Where is that, though? There's, they didn't have it on, on the message board. There wasn't the information. I will probably get more of the information mm -hmm. today. So uh, they wanted us to be making mocks, if not Star Wars mocks, just any kind of space mock. Oh. And um, just so we can display it, because what I talked about a few streams before is the whole fact that for it to be an official um, event that our lug is presenting at, yeah. it has to be at least 10 uh, members or at least 10 mocks from members yeah. and 500 people at the event. Hopefully there's 500 people at this Star Wars event because then it won't really count. Do you need us to go? I don't know. But this is what I made. So I put this on Instagram. Guess who this character is? So when I showed this to Maria the first time, she's like, oh, you made Moses. <laughs> it is, because Moses has a staff. I'm like, it's not Moses. And that's going to be the burning bush. <laughs> it's not Moses. So I don't think You this... didn't really give me any context. Who is this? I said it was Star Wars. And then oh. you're like, uh, <laughs> Ray and BB-8. Yes. Um, so this is, I don't think this is a spoiler alert because this was in the trailer and the trailer has been out for a while. It's just the um, Imperial Star Destroyer crashing into the sands of Jakku. Jakku. So this just comes out like that, basically. So that's, oh, that's the secret there of how I made it um, diagonal. Because I wanted to make it somehow diagonal into the snow, and into the snow, into the sand. And that's how it crashed into the sand. So that's the secret there. Um, also, this week we made a but we did a bunch of builds for um, Lego Dimensions. This is my favorite. I'm so surprised. So there. this one came with came with Nia. Naya. I think it's Nia. The boys say Someone. Nia. The samurai. So that's a cool little samurai. It's actually the small it's the version mech. of this. 
So I like that. I actually wasn't going to get any of the um, Ninjago's. We had a buy one, get one at 40% off sale at um, Toys R Us last weekend. And we just found out that the cost, you were saying, right, for a fun packs is the same Canadian versus U.S. So it's $14.99 Canadian or U.S. That it actually makes it super cheaper. Super cheaper? Did you know it's the same as this? No. That's cool, huh? That is cool. It's a small It's almost like what you would make, only they beat you to it. Yeah, they beat but yeah, so the pricing now of Lego is a lot cheaper here in Canada until they readjust their prices, which makes me want to go and run to the store and buy every single item that I want. Not just Lego, could be like, you know, jewelry, because I feel like they're going to do all these readjustments. Our dollar is at a pitiful $1 US equals $1.44 Canadian. It hasn't been this low in 13 years, so we're not shopping when we go to Philadelphia. I thought it was worth this. Close, it'll be closer to that. Yeah, so, that's so that thank one. God we got room rates. Hi, Simon John. And then there's Benny, this, you got the micro and the spaceship, 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 yep. spaceship, which is cool. And so have you played Benny. with these already? No, because the, oh. the game got scratched. We, they wanted to try oh, the new yeah, characters. Oh yeah, I need to send it. And we got like a little excavator here, which is cool. Yep. So I did the three builds for my, for my review, but I just kept it as the one that was my most favorite of the three. Because mm -hmm. there was like a bulldozer. This turned into a bulldozer also. But I think this thing is cool. I'm not much of like a construction guy person mm -hmm. or a city, but I like that. Um, then we got Krusty the Clown with his clown bike. And we got Bart Simpson with his little buggy. So cool little fun builds, hence the name Fun Tax. Mm -hmm. um, another thing this week. So when I got the um, Ghostbuster HQ and the Brick Bank, I forgot to bring my little coupon with the parrot. So I went to the Lego store and uh, I was able to- Did so you just, so just get them for free? I got my my parrot. Did you just get them for free? You get for free, but you have to buy something. No, but you didn't get it for free. And so I, I got a pick and break cup. So, Did you use your old pick and break cup? Yeah. So it's called. I looked at the receipt, and if you use your old pick and break cups, it says refill. Pick a brick. Pick a brick refill. And how much are you back? Fifty cents, which is like two pieces. I think, I'm not sure if it's fifty or a dollar. Fifty for the big one. Okay. Oh no, maybe a dollar. I don't know. How. But I want to get these. These ten because I was planning on making that Jakku mock, but I didn't even use it because I ended up using the Jakku. But I got that. Did you really want this? But the reason why I went was <laughs> I really wanted to get the new the new uh, pick a brick uh, the pick a brick pieces, but they didn't restock their shelves yet. Did you ask them? They said they were going to restock it on Saturday, which was yesterday. So I went to the Lego store yesterday, and. I got another carrot with my second coupon. What are you going to do with this? I don't want these in the library anymore. No, I want to park them up and use the, use the pieces. And, and Tristan's going to use the, the joints. So when I went to the Lego store, this is the piece that I wanted. The, it's the one by two. This, this one little piece right here. No, they're all the same. <laughs> it's the one by two. Um, what are you going to make with all these crystals? No, these are really good for windows. What? What's this? Oh, they threw that in. Nobody wants it. They threw that in. What are you looking at the receipt? So for this one, I was able to use some uh, VIP points. I didn't have any VIP points for the second one. Because, so I got, so these guys, which are good for windows. So I got a whole bunch of these. Thank you. What are you going to do for them? What are you going to do for them? I ran out because I used a lot of these actually for when I was uh, modifying okay. um, the. Um, What's your refill large cup? 1949. Yeah, 50 cents only off because it's 1999, right? Uh, I thought it was 20. Then so what would be the small the small cup for 25 cents? I guess. Maybe 25. Cents. Boo Lego. So that's that there. Uh, no more bricks says Christine asked me, What are you going to do with the parrot poly bag? I told her, I'm just going to hoard it and never see That's it again. That's right, Christine. I agree with you. What are you going to do with the parrot? I'm going to. I feel like we already have a parrot. No, we have a. We have a. What's that other bird? A toucan. Yeah. We have a, a box full of polys. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thanks, no more breaks. He says that the trans pieces rose up in brick length. You guys should marry each other. He's looking out for my back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that's that there. Okay, um, some Lego news. Oh, okay. Uh, Wait, so what's your next big expense for Lego next month? Oh, on the 17th, the Wednesday. Of February? Yeah. What is that? The Bat, oh, the bat Cave. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where are you going to put that? I was thinking putting it right there. Where are you going to put that? I was gonna move the Batman, the Batman minifigures. Oh, I like those. I'm just gonna move them out of the I way. Like, what? <laughs> I feel like you want a space back there. I or, can, I can get Batman and Robin back into my room. I like those actually. Or I can, yeah, we can take. I don't like, out. I don't like that. I don't like. I'll I figure it like out. Those. I always, I always manage to figure it out. The Batcave. Not everyone loves the bat cave. I like the mini figures. I like the twirly down, the you know, like the mansion, and then but it need, it needs finishing. So maybe yeah. you need to finish it with smooth tile. So this is cool. They have new pictures of some of the mini figures in the um, the new DC sets. So this one is Gotham City Cycle Chase, where we get Deadshot. We've never gotten a Deadshot before, and you get a crazy looking Harley Quinn with different like. Blue hair now. Yeah. That's cool. Wait, so wait, wait. Here's the actual box. But these are just like regular sets from 2016, right? Yeah, these are the ones that I like we'll wait until it goes on sale. Yeah. It's nothing like they'll go on sale eventually. Nothing like Batcave. Yeah, Batcave will probably won't go on sale. Probably. Those minifigures are gonna rise in price once it retires. And then what are we gonna do when they rise in price? Keep them and say, look, this one is Do you know what they said is the best investment now? Um, and I actually have one. Gold? No. Oh, I purses. Sold. I heard that. I heard on the radio one of the, one of the purses. Birkin. Like Boom. $1,400? $24,000. You can't even get one. That's more. But I don't know who to sell it to. This has been popping up, and I haven't found any in, like, in our area. Um, the CMF series. Yes, he's been to uh, two Walmarts now. No, actually, I've been to Walmart, like, Almost every day last week and this week. <laughs> nothing. It's, it's, you know why? It's, it's, I'm that guy who goes up the escalator, then it does a little turn, comes around, and goes back down the escalator. Wait, and this is clearly square one. Yeah. That's <laughs> the only one that we've seen that it's been early at square one. No, and then we see it in South Common Mall before? Not early. Oh. It's only been early at. Although, you know, I went to South Common, remember not long ago, to return to Duplo and get. Katie's birthday present. Yeah, it's very empty. The shelves of same, Lego same with the one look square so one. empty. The one at so square one too. I've been waiting for. I almost to wonder: is it because a is it after Christmas or is it our dollar? Because if our dollar, maybe a lot of Walmart. Did you know half of the WalMarts are closing down in the U.S.? Are yes. Oh, a lot. I don't know that. As our heads go forward, does anyone say? But it, it's not instant. They're they're typing. Oh yeah. It's on it's on the delay. So yeah. I don't know how many of you guys were lucky, but so is I've it going to be three ninety nine here? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember now. See, this is the problem. They're going to see what their pricing is going to be. It's going to be harsh. But um, yeah, I've been seeing the UK, Australia, and even we don't have in Target. The... Our Target closed down. Yeah, this is Target here. We don't have Target. Our Target, Target. tried to live here, and it lived for a year. Yeah, a year. Uh, on Tuesday, these are coming out. The new. Um, but since we don't have a game, we're not rushing out for them, and they're going to go on sale, right? Well, the sale is still going on. Um, but it can't be Bogo for these. For the fun packs, it could be. I just want to check because this is one of the fun packs that I want to oh, get. That's cool. The, um, the Dalek there's no and other, the Cyberman. There's no other Doctor. Yeah, this one here. That's a Doctor. No, but this is the buy one get one that oh. I'm going to get with it. The Doc. <laughs> And then plus, um, <laughs> if it, if this was Slimer or the Stay Pop, yeah, maybe. Stay Pop, Stay Pop. But the only cool thing about this, it's the level pack. So maybe once we actually get yes, a, get a candle during the summer brick work machine, big brick machine, because it's so pretty here, and you will get so many things. For maybe money. once we get our our game working again, then you, we'll get this because I want to play the new level for um. Ghostbusters. You should go here when um thing is um that what's that brick fet. 
Philip, um, Brick Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Brick Fat Toronto is normally in July. July. Uh, this is new also. We have <laughs> some pictures of some Marvel sets. Marvel sets. So we have a Winter Soldier here, and I'm not sure if this Winter Soldier oh. is the same as the Winter Soldier we got hey, in the poly bag. Did you notice Krusty is like a full on head? Yeah. Isn't it like a removable in the other one? It is removable. No, but like I thought the hair was removable. No, even Bart is like that. Oh. And Mark Simpson. No, I, I knew Bart, but I thought like Krusty's hair was removable. No, and so that's why some of the CMF uh, Disney ones are gonna be like molds like that. Oh. Which is cool. Is I it? Guess. But it's not cool if you want interchangeable things. Like I wanted to wear Krusty's head. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't know. Maybe the CMF, CMFs are because I remember Ursula's hair. You can take it off. Ooh, Ursula's hair. Here, so um, this one comes with the Black Panther, and I was looking at another picture. I don't have it here, but the Black Panther actually has Darth Maul's yeah you know, hair piece, except only the back ears. It doesn't have the whole crown all the way around. It just has the back ears. So that's Black Panther. Oh, my question was, I don't know if you heard it, uh, was if this Winter Soldier is the same Winter Soldier as the poly bag that we got the one. No, his face is hairier. No, because, uh, no, I don't think so. I think that torso was a lot more detailed. The one that's coming. The oh, torso yeah. is different already. The torso, different. the torso here, and the torso here is, has brown patches. Brown patches. And this one just has gray. And that one's gray. And the arm is the arm's the same. Is it also a star? Does this one look like see how the star here has black outlining? Oh, it has red. The star the star there just looks like a smear. It looks like there's some blood smear. I wouldn't have noticed that. I know because you're not into detail. I wonder if the back side of this also has that mask face. Oh, it's see different. and different faces. <laughs> Robin is the one like, did we get a different face? Oh my god, they made a mistake. Because this one, so this a, one is a, a like a Robin a mask Robin. face and oh, then okay. uh a duct tape on my mouse so face and this one exclusive 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 and how much is this on brick link no more bricks no more bricks boom i don't know no more bricks no. Oops. No. I don't know. <laughs> dominoes okay um and then we have another picture here what's the giant man someone's asking oh. what do you think of giant man i'll show it to you next but this one is we have a new Falcon with the hair. When is the next movie coming out for these people? This is all summer. The the Civil War. This, um, oh. You can see their spring or summer, but this year. But it's so that's just uh, Captain America. It's Captain America versus Iron Man. Why would they fight? Aren't they on the same team? Yeah, but it has something to do with the Civil War. Some something one of them doesn't agree with, and I, I know TF Bricks was explaining it to us on one of the streams before. I don't remember now. Mm. But the hair piece we have here is the same as Finn from Force Awakens, and also from the Ghostbusters. Uh, Winston, Winston Zetmore has oh. this new, new hair. Yes. Piece like that. It, did we ever have one of those before? So that's a giant man. Oh. It's a brick built. And see that little tiny thing? It's like more than a macro figure. The tiny thing is Ant Man. Oh, it's so cute. So we have a huge That's so cute. Ant Man or Giant Man and then a tiny, tiny, tiny micro. So that micro thing is probably the same size as the ones from the helicopter. Yes. Carrier. But yeah, on this one there's a whole bunch of characters. You got Giant Man, you got Ant Man, Agent 13, who yes. I'm not sure what Agent 13 is. Scarlet Witch, the yes. Winter Soldier, Captain America, War Machine, yes. and Iron Man. Captain America has different hair too. Yes, it's more um, tussled. It's like wavy. Tussled. I'm this not sure hair. if this is the same hair as Super as the new Superman, but in um, whatever color that is, light brown. I'm not sure what color that is. Because Superman has a new hair piece. It's not that one with the little curl anymore. No. It looks it's kind of like that. So that is that. Um, I think that's. Hang on. What's our time? I gotta leave soon because of the toilet. But it shouldn't take you that long to get there. Maybe. Um. So let's see what it says in the comments here. Agent Thirteen is Sharon Carter, Peggy Carter's niece. Oh. I bet you that's Jeremy talking because he's a comic book guy. 
There could be any or two. I'm not even sure who she, who Peggy Carter is. Uh, maybe update tonight, working on my city. That says Toad Bricks. And Lego Matt 809, they don't agree with the government opinion about controlling people with powers. There you go. Okay. That's why they're fighting. Uh, Port City Brick says May the 6th, the weekend after Philly. So I'm not sure what that was referring to. But it was May the 6th. Because I know May the 4th is Star Wars. May the 4th. I want to get them the first day they come out. Oh, are they talking about? That's the uh, the um, minifig for the Winter Soldier. Oh, that's not too bad. That's low. <laughs> that's I want it to be 80 bucks, $80. It's missing a it's zero. Not, it's not a purse. <laughs> oh, they're talking about when the Civil War comes out. I think the Civil War or the movie, maybe. I want them up. Uh, May, May uh, 6. We're waiting for it to be 20% off. Which is? Oh, these and we don't have any more kids who are having birthdays to get any more gift cards, hey? Uh, yeah, we do. We have Hayden. He's not going to get a <laughs> gift card for Toys R Us and we'll be like, ooh, our gift card. Let's go. Um, you know, I thought that was an Iron Man set till today. Haha. -ha. I might go to Canada. It says Big Rick. Lego Wild says the Marvel sets look awesome. And Port City Brick says the, winter, the new Winter Soldier because it is a different torso and a different head. Um, it's the CMF for Target. Can't wait to get the CMF. Oh, so in the U.S., this previous week was the big talk on the Powerball. The oh, Powerball actually went up to over a billion, a billion dollars. That's point, crazy. 1.3, 1 1.5 1 billion. 5. Did any of you guys Something. buy tickets? So I got so excited because one of there were three winners, and none of them have come up because come forward okay. to claim. But each of the locations that sold the winning tickets, each of those locations got a million dollars as a pro bono okay like as a commission right is that amazing so the three tickets that sold one was from tennessee we don't know anybody from tennessee yeah Bridge for Chris. that would give us money oh. one was from california we have lots of uh relatives there you think if a relative would win at 1.5 billion they'll give some money to us i'd, I'd be at their doorstep so. uh if it's Tito hill yeah i'd be like there okay and then one of them is from melbourne florida where my uncle works so I actually texted him right away. I'm like, yo, you haven't like texted me in a while. How come? Did you win? So he won he won eight dollars, he said. Oh, that's not bad. So he said he recouped the cost that he he uh bought it for. Oh, but but each of the winners is supposed to get like three hundred million after taxes. So yes, it's one point five billion divided by three should be five hundred, but then after all these taxes. It's still a lot. It's still a lot of money. Like that's why I don't know. If you won the lottery, I think we would have to like think, okay, we could never go back to our house. You know what I mean? Like you would be crazy celebrity status. You would need protective services. Like you just can't go back to your house yeah. once you say, "Here's my money." Because every single person who don't even know you is your gonna be like, "Can you buy me?" Change. Totally change. So I'm okay to just win fifty million dollars. <laughs> just fifty. <laughs> just fifty. That's that's fine. I I keep you don't working. think the same things will happen even if you no. Win. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. I think if you win a million dollars, the same things will happen. Yeah. People will be coming and trying to. But see, a million dollars will just like pay off. The house, you know, I know what I mean? But people will see that. Those yeah, there was actually an interesting documentary um, I watched a few years ago about Powerball winners. Yeah. And a lot of them said that they had to change their lives. They had to go in hiding because those who didn't initially, people from anywhere were like, okay, I want a free lunch. Like, I want a free lunch. Or, oh, yeah, this is your niece from your cousin's second, you know, brother's side of the family. She's going to college. You have to put her bill. Like, people are just on you yeah. for money. It's horrible. So, I should really stop buying the lottery, right? Like, forget about winning $50 million. No More Bricks says, yes, I'm excited for the Duplo Whale. Nick, the Duplo Whale set is double VI point. I don't know what this Duplo Whale is. There is no Duplo Whale in Canada. I've seen uh, we no made Bricks with this blue whale. It's a Duplo Whale. He's, 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 I showed you that video, right? Yeah. He's at Walmart and he's swimming the Duplo Whale. Yeah. And he even has that, um, that oh, do you know that um, Down Under Bricks was at a Lego convention this weekend. Oh no. Brick Venture. And so he posted all these pictures that were cool. The one picture was awesome. It was um, the Titanic. And it was so you see the Titanic hitting an iceberg and it cracks. And so it's like somehow cracked. Yes. And it's balancing. And you can see like it's all um, cracked in there. It's cool. It's like it's really well done. That's probably one of the best ones I've seen. Um they're all time with the lot of tickets. <laughs> What are people saying here? The most I have won is $10, says Big Rick. 
I'll have to wait till the movie comes out. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm like, you would have known it one you would have said man buys lego company <laughs> although i think the lego company is worth a lot more you could yeah the arctic set that comes out <laughs> in February has a duplo whale in it but it's a duplo whale i don't understand this i think it's um it's a hashtag eight ball thing are you gonna buy the whole box again nick when it comes out you might as well right if you see the whole box of cms yeah, but if it's open, then I'll just park myself on the floor and just start blowing things. But if it's sealed, you're just going to buy it, then you're going to like let, let, me, home and let then... me return to rest, right? Yeah, we'll see that. that seemed to work okay. Okay. I don't know how many of these ones I'd want duplicates and triplicates of. Maybe the shark guy, but I don't know about the other ones. Whereas, yeah, I know, I know. For the monster one, I want yeah, I know, me too. Things, but for this one, I don't know. I'm trying to think now. No. no. Nothing really stands out. Like, even the, yeah, like, the, like I wanted the... Venus flytrap man, for example. I like the gargoyle. Like there were more cute stuff. Yeah. In uh, in the comments, <laughs> what which uh, which CMF from fifteen would you like duplicates of besides the shark guy? Maybe the, maybe maybe shark. the girl with my hair. I heard a lot of people say that's probably the worst one. <laughs> but it has my hair. <laughs> yeah, not that's why I'm thinking of buying more <laughs> for my hair. Oh, but your hair doesn't look like that anymore. No, I'm oh, ruining it. Um, it's a cute whale. I'm just gonna wait for that, then we'll start signing off because I'm I want I don't want to be rushing. Because what if there's traffic? It's Sunday. Exactly. You know what you need like, to get into? You need to get into audiobooks. And then even when you're in traffic, you're like, oh, I'm so happy so in traffic. I'm listening to an Brick audiobook. So Bricksomniac says that he wants the shark. The janitor, so the janitor has that cool And the mop. jewel thief with my hair. Uh, animal control is the skunk. I know there's a skunk there, but I forget. And Big Rick wants the janitor, oh, a janitor again with the mop. I want and, to sing with the skunk. And the clumsy guy. The clumsy guy is the guy with the crutches, which is like uh, Jeremy. I want the fig with the skunk. I forget how the fig with the skunk looks like now. I can't remember. Uh oh, you're going to make him want the skunk. <gasps> New skunk for my city. <laughs> skunk army. There should be a CMF in a skunk costume. The Golden Warrior. Which one? Oh, the Golden Warrior. Oh, yeah. That, it looks like Mr. Gold, but it's... Um, Not Mr. Gold. It has gold. Chima wings. Yes. Yeah, the wings are cool, I guess. Chima? But yeah. Well, no, that's good because like the, the, the princesses are coming. Although I feel like the CMF princesses or the Disney ones, I don't think there's many that I would like duplicates oh, either. Oh, something else. Yeah. Would you? I would just be happy to get all of them. Oh, there's this. more news you can use. I forgot about this. The second two. See, good thing I mentioned Disney CMFs. Yeah, because the princesses were the things I want to talk about too. But um, so last week we talked about the Batman TV, the Batman Batcave, but we didn't show any pictures because there weren't any good pictures. But now Lego has put out a whole video and everything. Real and so, Lego or fake Lego? Real Lego. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. Oh, hang on. The only thing I really like is the um, Wayne Manor on the top here, but I'm not sure about the actual bat cave. But it's interesting how it's dark tan instead of gray, because usually you see caves are gray. But and then I like the the Batmobile and then the the actual characters. Why don't you hide me? Hide so me, baby. there's a video on YouTube of the of the actual people who made it. So that's cool. Yeah. We'll know but the minifigure I like the most is probably yeah, yeah, yeah. this guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. The Joker. Yeah. So I like how they um, they painted over his mustache. They have that white, uh, the white paint over his mustache. And I like the torso and the pants too. I, I always like when they have like pink. You said that. Pink torsos. Because I have um, from Harry Potter, there's um, Dolores Umbridge. Yes, I love the wallpaper brick. And then there's um, what's your face? Luna Lovegood. Yeah, has a has a pink. Pur pink and purple. So I like the pink and purple. I get to draw pink and I actually use like, my pink marker. I also like. And the Batmobile is very cool. Um, the Catwoman. And I think they use the same mold as Josie and the Pussycats from uh, the CMF line. Do you think it's worth 270 and that's US, so it's a lot more here. It's 330 here. Let me do the math. <laughs> what is, it says 330. No, I know, I know, but are we saving? Oh, is it the, better? what the exchange is? 
Yeah, we are. Because 270 times 1.4 is 378. Mm. So 330, wait, 270, 270 divided by so 370. So buy it in Canada. It's cheaper. It's 20% up only. So yes, come across the border and buy it here, even with our silly sales tax. It's still crazy. I can't get it coming. Up. Sorry. Josie and the Pussycat looks cool too. But yeah, the the the. Um... It's a big set, Nick. Are you sure it's gonna fit there? I don't think it's gonna fit there. Oh, we're gonna fit there. Not this guy. I think you're gonna like have to like um. What you can do is like decapitate it, Modify and then it. half of it's like on the other set, on the other. Well, I can always. Take... I'm like, what's above our basement? Wait, that's your living room. We can cut off. I can always take off the Wayne Manor and just have that separate, and then have the. Like the top part. So this is cool too. I like this figure. The Josie and the Pussycat. So that's she's cool. cute. She's cute. She's cute with her bling. Wow. Yeah, it is so much cheaper. And uh, we'll also be getting a Mr. Freeze minifigure from the classic Mr. Freeze. Um, so he's coming in a poly bag. Probably one of those. If you spend over seventy-five dollars, you get you get it. So if you buy the bad cave, you probably. We'll get, get that too, unless it comes the month after, and then we'll have to buy something else. Um, <laughs> did you sign me up for the mini bills? Oh, I didn't see that yet. I was looking at it, so like it's a schema. Oh too. my gosh, you, for the first time, you're not gonna let me go. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's like those trophy kids. And it's, uh, <gasps> we don't need to go if it's a schema. So, um, even, even your oldest son is like. Here. So a few, a few months ago, or a few weeks ago, um, we on the stream we were talking about the, the list of the um, the Disney CMFs, and it turns out that list was false. So they've been showing actual molds of the new CMF figures, and from the molds they've deduced that one of them is going to be Ursula from um, the Little Mermaid. Okay. One's going to be Peter Pan. Okay. I wonder um, how these get chosen. Is Mr. it like Mr. Incredible and Syndrome from The Incredibles? Oh. And then there's also rumors that there's going to be a genie. Okay. There's going to be Mickey Mouse. Yes, yeah, easy to have a genie because they've already had a genie before the CMF, right? Yeah. Captain Hook and two princesses. So what I'm thinking is the two princesses. One might be Jasmine, since we're getting a genie. Okay. So we'll probably get a Jasmine. We'll probably get maybe an Aladdin. I wonder how they chose these characters. Are they know. going to release the Little Mermaid? You know what I mean? I don't know. Is it, is Maybe there just some random kind of a... because they want to eventually. Because there's so many. There's so many. There might be oh more. God, we're going to put them. Because for the Simpsons, there was series the one was false. and series two. So um, I'm thinking it might be a Jasmine. And I think there might be a Little Mermaid since we're getting an Ursula. So they'll probably also come out with a Little Mermaid. Because why would they have an Ursula and not a Little Mermaid as well? So that's what I'm thinking. I like Ursula. No more bricks. Wanted. Aluga Dragon. Sabruga come wins of the Caspian Sea. Dragon Ball Z. La princess of something like maxillangitis. Right. Come to me. The, let's go through the list. I know. Thanks a lot. Thank you, No More Bricks. Now sing. Thank you, Lego Matt 809 And thank you, Lego Wild, for stopping in. Thank you, Big Rick Machine and Port City Bricks. And Simon John, who says the Batmobile is cool. It is. Uh, who else was in here? Thank you, the Brick Toad, who just stepped on a Lego. Ah. Thank you, Brick Are you practicing for Philly Brick Fest Firewalk? Yeah, uh, Matt Stacker <laughs> said that they might not even have that this year because... Because Matt, the Brick Adjuster has made his feet so steeled. No, because um, there's so many people going, plus... We, it's how, so how dirty. How many people are going to be able to fit in that, that little... Um, they should make container. the whole room. So I don't know. Them. Are they gonna unless they do like waves or something? Uh, who else so what kind do? of skills do you think we need to like up? So you interested in working the basketball skills for shooting? Maybe they might shoot for Lego. Thank, did I say thank you, Lego Wild? I, I can I do balancing acts, so we can balance for Lego. I think I can read for Lego. I think that was. It. I can eat for Lego. So stay tuned <laughs> next week on the Brick Adjuster channel. Oh yeah! Wait, 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 wait! Time out. If we're doing the Brick Adjuster channel, are we still doing this again? Yeah, because this is our Facebook no! Live. It's gonna be a marathon weekend next weekend. So, uh, and we also have your race next weekend in the morning, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On I gotta Saturday, take a nap. January 23rd, we're gonna be doing a what, what, what marathon. And are we going from the previous what, what, what's that never got answered? So, what I did was I went through all 700 what, what, what's over 700 and I whittled it down to around 300. 
I don't know. We'll probably get through like 30 again, but we'll go through that. We have a cool line. You know what we need to do? We need to put them in like little paper and then just pick from a, a thing. Pick, pick from a bowl mm -hmm. out of this 300. This is Nick and Maria signing off and Little Basket. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Uh stop, stop, stop.